right so let's get started um, the first thing for us is to of course um go into our what's it called to uh, aws um we are going to create first create an um, s3 bucket where we are going to migrate um, our source code so let's do this um, this so you can just go to um go to start groups um, start um, bootstrap.com to be able to you know get some templates for your website that's where i got the template uh, you downloaded from so So you can get some some nice creative templates here. So um, let's continue to our work. Let's, let's show. Okay, these are some nice templates that you can got you can use for your website. So um, let's add uh, those uh, elements. It here. So, so after that, um, um, we need to create um, some rules uh, in our IAM service. Um, rules in IAM service enables um, um, services and resources in Amazon uh, in AWS to be able to communicate. Um, with one another so we are creating roles for ec2 instance to be able to um, talk to uh, what's it called s3 bucket we just copy read and write you understand and also we create a role for session manager you now with session manager you don't need to um, use it, it can easily administer your lin uh, uh, linux instance on aws without having to um, do a remote connection with SSH from your uh, from your laptop. So let's create roles. So create for this. It's one for this. So allow each two instance to call service on expansion. S3. So we are cho choosing this. I'm choosing uh, choosing this um, Amazon SSM managed instance um, call. So I'm choosing those two. Name S3. I just leave it as S3 and SSM. Okay. I use space bar. So we have these two rows created. So the next thing for us to do um is to create our um ec2 instance um don't forget that we want to create an ec2 instance in such a way that we can use auto scaling for for it and um so let's just go to services ec2 create an ec2 instance um for our website So what we'll do is just launch. Yes, let's launch. Let's launch an instance instance and select this, the uh, Amazon Linux. So we'll be working under the uh, with the fritz here, um, T2 micro um, EC2. So 
next thing is to do um we are not requesting we are using default uh, vpc subnet let's um let's use um the one of um uh, let's use this this subnet which is um us uh, usd a then we can um auto assignment we want um public ip address um, i think for now let's let's enable for now I always um, go back and disable okay what else now the ham rule we need this to be uh the s3 and ssm um i am all that we created so a uh, short down behavior um, stop password okay any other thing we need to do um, no for now so here yeah, would add our script um to the um, user data what this when it was that some of the things we want to we want um to do on the linux we can script them right away such that as the linux is launching um can can um it would uh what's it called it will just automatically um launch the um run the command without us having to um to sign in or sign in to the linux hand and uh, I want this command ourselves. So I have the script here that I want to run. So what I will do now is just copy this command. This command will update the, the Linux. It will also install um, the um, uh, Apache um, service and um, the MariaDB and Lamping it. It will start the service, enable it. And um, so it will also copy our file from the S3 bucket to the HTML directory on the Linux. So what we'll do is to just change the, let's change the, um, the, the, the name of the S3 bucket here to the one we created earlier. So let me just um, go, go to S3 and copy the name. Let me duplicate this so that I have this. Let's go to our S3 bucket. So yeah, we'll just copy the name here. Control C and paste here. Control V. So copy all this command, including the initial um, command and just paste it here. So um, this should be able to run our command um, seamlessly. So let's um, let's go for that as storage. We have it as eight gig EBS storage um, general. We are using the general purpose SSD. We are under the um, using the free tier. So are we using tag? Um, let's add tag name Oops, server. So let's go to security group. Under this security group, um, I would like to so we want to open we want to open um, uh, the SSH port for us to be able to launch um, to be able to reach our Linux remotely. Uh, I will do uh, my IP. This IP is um, is dynamic. Um, that means I don't have a static IP. Public static IP. So it changes over time I done. And uh, if, if this change, I won't be able to reach uh, my Linux server. So I'll just use um, anywhere. But ideally, it's meant to be my IP. You don't open your SSH ports to the world. So I'll add another rule, which is uh, HTTP uh, ports. This would be anywhere. And uh, another rule for HTTPS uh, ports. HTTPS ports. This also will be anywhere. Let's launch. Uh, we have this um, done for us. So 
we need a key pair. I have this key pair on my on my server uh, on my um, Windows um, 10 already. So you might create another one, but I want to use this. So let me just launch. So we are launching. Yeah. So now we are we've launched our first EC2 instance web server. So um, what we are waiting for is that this instance state um, should be two, two check two, and it has to be LD before we can have it running. So let's just wait for this to get started. The status check rather. So while this is um, loading, um, okay, let it finish loading because the next thing we want to do is to create an uh, AMI image for um, our web server. Creating an a a AMI image ensures that everything that's been configured under this web server is created as an image so that other, when we are trying to cre create other um, Linux web server, that wants that with the same content we we'll have to be doing it um over and over again we just it just be a, like a template for them to be able to use so let's and also this ami uh, image is what we we'll use for uh, the, our auto scaling um system see initializing Let me check. Let's check this first. Now, can you see, we have our website um, created automatically because of the script that we ran um, at launch. So we have this um, website created, wow. So um, 